Hey guys. So today we're going to be looking at the problem longest repeating character replacement. So in this problem, the goal is to find the length of the longest substring containing the repeating letters, all repeating letters. And in this problem, you can make replacements such that you can get that repeating character sequence or repeating character substring. So we're given a string, so for an example, we're given the string a, b, a, b, and you're given an integer value like 2. So this k value dictates as to how many replacements you can make in a certain substring. So I wanted to go over the intuition as to why this problem is a sliding window problem. At first, it may not be that obvious. The first thing that you need to look for is whenever you're given a string problem and you're given some constraints to fit to that string or substring, then that is most likely a sliding window string problem. So to give an example, right, for this problem, the specific the specific constraint is not that obvious, which is what makes which is what made it a little bit difficult for me at the beginning, right? Because the actual constraint here is the number of replaces, replacements you can make. In this substring, in this string, for example, I mean, you can call it a string or a substring, whatever. Um, in this string, you can make at most two replacements, right? And whenever we're approaching these problems, we want to look for patterns. So how do we derive this pattern? This pattern is very clear to us intuitively as human beings. But mathematically, we want to derive how did we get the value 2? And the value 2 I'm talking about is, is how many like replacements we can make in this substring. I'm not talking about this k value. I'm talking about the replacements within this. Let me give an example. So let's say we have the string 3 a's, b, and then a. In this string, right, what is the number of replacements we can make. And this is, I'm talking about this substring. Let's say that the actual string is super long, right? And has a bunch of crap that we don't care about, a bunch of characters. In this specific substring, we can actually do a little bit of simple math to, to derive how many replacements we need to make to make this a valid repeating substring sequence, right? So it's actually gonna be the length of the string, so five, length minus the number of the ma the number of characters that are that is the max character in the sequence right so in this example it's going to be going to be a because a has four characters and it's the maximum of occurring unique character so it's going to be 5 minus 4 let's just call this mc so the length minus MC is going to give you the amount of repeats that, or the amount of, uh, I'm losing it. What is it, the word? Uh, replacements that you need to make. It's literally right here. <laughs> yeah, so this value here is the number of replacements that you need to make. And that's how you derive it mathematically. And so from that, the constraint comes in for this problem, the substring, the sliding window constraint that is common among all uh, sliding window problems, right? You want to uh, decrease the window if the sliding window is, if the constraints are not met, you want to decrease the size of the window. If the constraints are still met, you want to increase the size of the window. So the constraint for this problem is that this value here, the number of replacements, I think it's pretty obvious, right? The number of replacements needs to be less than or equal to the k value we are given. Because in a certain substring, we can't make that many. We can't make more than this replacement. If this value is greater than k, then we've just broken our constraints, right? How can we make more replacements than what we're given, which is we can make two replacements in this example. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I think this was like 
you kind of have to derive it mathematically and I think this was like the most the thing that made the most sense to me so let's start coding okay so we have let's have a left point we always need a left and a right pointer when we're doing sliding window problems and I don't think I'll need that let's say we need a, a max value which is going to be like our final value that we're going to return right at the end of the program we want to say okay I'm going to return the maximum max will just represent the, the maximum substring right that we found in the string and then we need a value for replace count let's just call it replace count and that's the that's that value that replace count must be less than or equal to k that's our constraint for the sliding window problem and then we're going to say right is equal to zero right is less than stopped right plus plus right right so the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate our values right so let's say window size will be the size of our current window at the beginning it's going to be zero so it'll be right minus left or at the beginning it'll be one right because right minus left plus one will give us uh, the length of the window and we also need so we have the window size and we also need the count of characters that's what i'm forgetting right so we need to keep a count of all the characters that we've seen so far in the, inside of the window inside of the sliding window so we're going to say hidden array that is of size 26 which is all the characters in the uppercase alphabet uh yeah and so we have a count and we have a replace count and we also need something for the max occurring character max i'll call it max character and this is going to represent like in our case a and here we saw that a was the max occurring character so we need to keep track of that to make this l minus mc calculation so let's perform that calculation then right so we have window size so that's going to be our l value so we're going to say int replace count i guess i didn't need to define it up here replace count is equal to it's going to be the length right the window size minus this max character size and i just called that max character so then we have the replace count let's define max character so this will be kind of a continuous calculation so at the beginning right where we just have a a b a b so we're going to be here i'm going to say okay i'm going to update the count so we need to take a, ma a max right so we're going to take a max between max character itself and in this same line here we're going to update the count our count array for each character so we're going to say count of or actually i will define the character that we're currently looking at so right is the right pointer of our window right so if we have l here then r is going to be traveling through the substring or through the whole string it's going to be expanding this window right so at the beginning at the beginning we'll just have a the next time we'll have a b l will be here r will be here at the next point we'll have a b sorry a b a l will be here and r will be here as you can see the window is expanding and so we need to as we expand the window we need to add into our count in our count a will map to two now for this example and b will map to one so it's just keeping track of the count of characters in our window so i'll just define the current character that we're looking at at the right index will be a start char at right and so then we just need to say count c uh, i think this is just how you so this will be a minus a which will be zero this is just how to map the characters to because uh, this is a character and not an integer value so it'll just 
map it to the correct size of 26. And we want to increment the size here. So yeah, that's, so we're incrementing the count and then we're taking a max between max character and the count that's incremented. So at the beginning, this will be one, it'll be taking a max between zero and one and max character will become one. Then we update our replace count. And here's where we want to do that check, right? We want to do a constraint check, check if our constraints are still being met. So if, and I'm looking over here, if the value, our replace count, is greater than our k value, at this point we know it is an invalid window. Our window does not meet the constraints anymore because if we have three replacements that we need to make to make our current window a satisfiable window, like a real longest possible substring of repeating characters, then if it's three, you know, that's just not possible. We can't make that many changes. So we need to start shortening our window from the left side. So if we have A, 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 B, A, if, this, if, if we're at this point and K is two, or actually that's a, that's a bad example, my bad. A, B, A, B, A, and this is our sliding window. L is here, R is here. In case two, we can't meet these constraints anymore, so we have to slide over L. L has to move over to this B now. And now this is our new window, B, A, B, A. So that's what we want to do. So we'll say count of s.char at left. And so we want to increment left, so I'll just do that in here, minus... A, which will so and we, we so we want to increment left and we want to decrement the count right because as we slide over this window as we slide over this window L A is going out of the picture right because this count our count array is only keeping track of the number of characters in our current window and if we close the window that character is forgotten about so we just decrement the count and if the constraints are still being met then we want to take, we want to update our longest possible substring because we can still update that substring, current one. So we take a max between max itself and the just window size. And if I'm not forgetting anything, I think that should be it. It's a fairly simple algorithm. I hope this has helped the explanation